Hey guys, Lise here from Hustle and Groove and this is a tutorial on how you can use Todoist to manage your schedule and just kind of keep on top of everything that you've got going on. So I have a premium version of Todoist which basically allows me to access unlimited projects, labels and filters which means I can create as many as I like and I'm not restricted in that regard. Now I think the paid version is something like 30 US dollars per year so it's not super expensive but you can definitely get away with using the free version. Um, the only thing with the free version is, is that you're limited in the number of projects, labels and filters you can create which also means that it limits the colors that you can use as well. So I'm a huge color person. Um, it makes it a lot easier for me to be able to see over here on this um, right hand side what exactly I'm working on and those colors kind of relate directly back to a project. So I'm just going to basically walk you through how you can use, how I used to do it, how, and then you can probably figure out how you can work that in for yourself. I've got internet connection issues so some of the things um, like inviting someone to collaborate with you or in, you know adding someone to a project I'm not going to be able to do because this little red thing here is telling me I'm not connected to the internet and that's because there's a massive outage nationwide here in New Zealand so fun times. Um, but anyway basically what Todoist is is that you would come in here and you don't have to set projects if you don't want to like if you just want to run a just standing to-do list you can totally do that and basically what happens is is that then everything would just sit in this area here which is just called your inbox so that is just your standard everything goes in here if it hasn't been assigned to a project um, so that if you're using the free version this is where you would just literally create a new task and it would just drop into here What's great for me anyway is I can then set um, due dates and I can set reoccurring tasks or I can just add something to my to-do list that I don't know what time I'm going to do it but I know I need to get it done by a certain date. Um, so you don't even have to add a time, you can just add a date as well. So that's really, really cool. And you'll see here that I've got some things have got labels attached to them. So this is where if you were using, um, like I've talked about, um, the productive person where you can basically schedule out your day in different chunks of blocks. That's what this afternoon action block relates to is basically I know that when I'm sitting down to do my um, afternoon action block of work that this task is going to fit in with that. So I hope that that makes sense. It's super simple. You basically just come up here and just go, okay, I'm going to add a task. So I know for a fact that I need to record videos for the a blog post blog post and if you wanted to you could add it um, and I always recommend that you always assign a due date if you don't it just sits in your inbox and you won't see it in your um, due tasks because it hasn't been assigned a date so it's the 18th for me because we are ahead um, but it's probably early or it might be the 18th for you um, so I'm going to set that and I'm going to set a time and so you just, the time is just set for at whatever time so I'm going to make that 10.30 a.m. Now if I wanted to come in here and add a label I can do that so that's where all these little icons are. I can also add this to a project so this is definitely related to the H&G blog and I'm going to add it to, um, this is going to be one of the um, action you know, second morning action blocks and so I'm going to go add task and that automatically just adds it in where everything is due um, and so everything just goes into, into your inbox um, and then if you want to see what's only due today then you click on today and this shows you. Anything in red means that it's overdue um, and I haven't ticked them off yet so I'm just coming in here to tick a few of these off because I know that I need to have done them. So you can quickly see down here that some of these are attached to projects and some of them aren't. The ones that aren't just sit in my inbox um, and you know that's all that we have to do. Now if you need to change the date for something like if you know that this isn't going to be something that you're doing right now like for instance I know this is something that I need to put off um, until January. I'm just going to click save and it then just disappears off today's task list. 
Now, in terms of setting out projects and labels and filters and all that sort of stuff, really comes down to your personal preference of how you want to use something like this. I personally love having projects um, because it just, again, I love the whole color thing. So right now I've got a whole bunch of things that I'm working on um, and I always, for the different parts of my business, I'll, you know, if I've got a task associated with that, then it goes into these projects. So this is for Hustle and Groove and you'll see that there are a whole bunch of reoccurring tasks that I've got going on um, in here. So they are all set. And then they just jump into my today whenever they're due. So that is basically how the project does. So you can either set tasks in your inbox, you can set them in today, you can jump into a project and it will automatically add them to that project. Entirely up to you how you want to do that. Now, in terms of inviting someone, um, Author Basics is something that I run with um, a friend of mine called Steve Windsor. And I created this project and I invited him to that so basically what you can do is and I'm not sure if this is going to work because I'm not connected to the internet so basically what I can do is come up here um, and say I was going to add my virtual assistant to this project task now the reason why I haven't is because this is all my the stuff that I need to be doing um, so this is exactly what we would do you would add the person's um, email address and then you would invite them and it's really as simple as that. You don't need to have the app, which is what I'm using. You can use the um, web-based version. And then there is also an app for your um, smartphone or for your tablet. So, you know, it just it works so well from that perspective. So that's how you would just add somebody. Honestly, Todoist makes things super, super simple. And then in terms of labels, again, it's just a case of coming in here and creating as many as you want. Um, obviously, there's only a small amount of um, colors and if you want to change the color you just basically click on here and go edit label um, and then choose from the colors that you have available and then you click save um, and so what happens with labels is like you know it's basically anything so if you're breaking up your day into sort of three definitive action blocks and you know you might say action block one action block two action block three how you want to do that maybe you might come in here and go you know what i need to differentiate between personal related tasks and work related tasks and job related tasks like if you're still working a day job um, then you might do that so you might come in here and add a label that says job related and then you might say personal and then you might, you know, call it side hustle or blog or biz related, how you want to do it. That's why I love labels because it just adds another layer of being able to quickly see exactly what I'm working on in any given day. And then in terms of filters, you can set different priorities. Um, I don't necessarily use the filters um, because I've got due dates and times and that's kind of how I work. But if, you know, if you want to add a whole bunch of filters, you can go and do that and it will... Um, you know, it'll allow you to come in here and change them um, and all that. So basically, it just, it's just a query that is already within Todoist. So what is really cool, and particularly if you're doing this on a Sunday night, um, you can choose to see what's happening um, sort of seven days out. And I, all, I do this every night as part. You'll see that I've got my little evening routine here. Um, so every night I'll sit down and just have a quick look both through my Todoist and then I'll also look at my passion planner which is like my paper version of what I'm doing and it's just I like color and writing and, and all that sort of stuff so that's my creative stuff and I find that between using Todoist and passion planner together I don't miss anything I don't forget things um, I use the passion planner to capture ideas um, it's just another way for me to keep track of everything that I'm doing and I find writing things down after I put them into Doist as well um, makes things stick a bit more too. So I hope that you can see how amazing Todoist is. Um, there are other apps out here that are like this, but I just love this interface. It's super easy um, and it's natural. And in terms of setting due dates and reoccurring things, it's um, basically based on normal language. So I'll just quickly show you what I'm talking about. Okay, this is recurring task and say I wanted this to be every month. So I would type in here every um, month 
at 5 p.m. And again, you can add it to a project, add a label, whatever it is that you want to do. And that just comes in. And because it's defaulting to today, like whatever date it is, then this is going to reoccur on the 18th of October or the 18th of each month going forward. If you want to specify an actual sort of day, then you can come in here and go every third Monday. That might be how you want that to go. So jump into my inbox and I'll be able to see that um, this will be here down here. So the next reoccurrence of that is the 21st of November. So you can see how um, it is pretty phenomenal in the way that it works. One other thing that is pretty cool about this, about using Stuart's, is that you can also come in here um, and add a whole bunch of notes. So if you wanted to attach something, if you wanted to record something to go along with that task, you can do that in here. Um, I definitely use it like if you're collaborating with someone, this is a great way. Um, you know, if you need to assign a whole bunch of stuff, this is where you would do it. You know, we'd add it all in here um, to expand on that task. So for instance, writing a blog post, dust doesn't involve writing a blog post. There's all the images that go along with it, the sharing, the scheduling, um, the resharing, the promotion, all that sort of stuff. So if you're working with a VA, that's where you would potentially come in and write all of this information into um, that blog post task. Uh, so I hope that helps. I'm just going to um, get out of that now. So to do is uh, the best thing since sliced bread, in my opinion, anyway. Um, but it's about finding what works for you. So give it a try. Definitely the free version will allow you to have about three or four projects with different colors um, and same with the label. So you can definitely try it out um, without having to pay for it. And I will see you later.